There was some wonderful red carpet, some outstanding screenings, and those deep emotions, the deep emotion, obviously, which was shared by hundreds of thousands, uh, millions of French people. That was the first award that was so moving for Vincent Landon. And I'll never forget that. When Vincent went up those steps, who knew his there was a prize for either the film or himself, or the film through him, he didn't know. Back in Paris, we live down the road from each other. We see each other the whole time, for a long, long time. And that was a very brotherly feeling. I knew he didn't. What, what I heard the Cohen brothers say last year, on the day before the festival opened, when we were presenting the jury, or the jury were presenting themselves, and we were having dinner with them, Thierry and I, the two uh, brothers said, you know, we're going to talk an awful lot. We'll talk together perhaps after every film or after every second film, and we're going to talk about the films we love. The films that we don't like or that most of us didn't like, we're not going to talk about them for a long time. These are films that we could have made or might not have noticed. We're only going to talk or mainly going to talk about those films which touched us deeply, and that's what they did. And that's what gave such a quality of debate at the end, talking as much as possible. When you're in film, if you'd excuse my French, what could turn you on more than talking about films? There's a really interesting image that we find in several films where an individual is struck by a world which is very complex, more uncertain, and that is reflected in the personal day-to-day -day lives of major um, characters who are in these films. Thierry and I, I remember we were having dinner together at the beginning of the year, and we were looking at our mobile phones, where we had the artwork, and when we saw this approach to this image, that dazzling sunshine on uh, Casa Malaparte, the silhouette of Michel Piccoli going up the steps, we said that that was the image we wanted this year. It had everything. It was Godard. It is the film Contempt. This is an iconic image from the history of world cinema, not only Godard's films and French films. And then the aesthetic approach, well, it doesn't matter if it rains in Canada, and this year, the poster is brimming with sunshine. It's like discovering literature today. It encourages you to reread your classics. It's the same for all arts, and particularly film. And this documentary that Bertrand is going to present to us, it's almost the Collège de France of uh, French du, film uh, du because Bertrand came from being a critic. Uh, he is a living historian, film historian, a storyteller who uh, can tell you little personal quips uh, and at the same time the temps, history of uh, the film industry. His view of French film is going to remain a reference, and presenting that is really moving and so exciting to have him in Cannes Classic this year. Thank you, Bertrand. Friedkin, Friedkin is both a genre film, an action film, and very deep characters. Character, characters that are archetypes, but with nuance as well. I love the face uh, of that man. I love his way of storytelling. I spent a lot of time with him when his wife was president of Paramount. And there was this beautiful woman who ran a big studio, and then there was Friedkin, who is a very unique chap, who has a, a unique status in American film. He's a, uh, an independent, but with big budgets. So I know that this man loves art. He's produced, he's created artistically for the cinema. He loves art in general, and you can feel it in his films. 
But la journée type du a typical day of the festival tout. president starts Et very early uh, in the morning. The president's role is one of moral authority, legal liability, and to preside over the International Film Association and the Board of Directors, which half of which are members of major institutions here in France, the Ministry of Culture to the Council of State and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and uh, the others who represent associations and professional Unions. Donc, so this non-executive uh, non authority is a moral authority, so I am in contact with French authorities, European authorities, world authorities. Uh, I have relations with all of our partners, partners. so Donc, I'm in meetings all day soir. long. Uh, right until the, the red carpets in the afternoon or the evening, and then in the evening there are the screenings, there are all kinds of dinners, they're not only for eating, these opportunities to uh, host people who contribute to uh, the reputation of cinema all around the world, because this is the Cannes Film Festival every year. We have an excellent selection of French films, but it's an international festival, and the films come from all over the world. That films are well or less well received here, we have to be a friend of those films because all filmmakers uh, or screenwriters or artists or any other participant in a film, they've all given one, two, three years of their lives. And so it's a bit of a shock. Perhaps that might uh, be damped down once the public's got over the idea or gone to, onto the television. But there's this shock of being in Cannes when uh, the reactions can be quite brutal or very enthusiastic. In both cases, it is quite a shock, and it can be difficult to uh, stomach. So you have to stand by them. It will be really symbolic when we reach 70 years. It's a very important birthday. And I'm not going to disagree with that, it's a very fine age. But this is an age, well, in cinema like in life, when I tell anyone I'm 70 years old, people say, well, your life expectancy is at least 85, if you're lucky. So I think you have to think carefully about celebrating 70 wonderful years since the first International Film Festival, but you also have to look over, look towards the next 15 years. So before May 2017, we will be announcing all kinds of events during our festival, before, afterwards, which will celebrate this birthday and celebrate all of those people who have contributed to the festival. And then we will be launching new avenues for the next 15 years.